seen them. I mean, I'm self-employed, so I don't, I don't get choice, really. Mm. So I have to work. If not, I won't have a house. Mm. <laughs> so, you know. But then the same, you know, it keeps you going, doesn't it? So, yeah, um, yeah. So it's swinging around the belts, really. Yeah. But no, for the part of the surgery, I don't know what, because I've not, if I was to think now, just you saying it, if I thought, oh, I've had the surgery come in, I wouldn't be able to work. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Well, no, worry, but yeah. well, no, you're right. Yeah. You're, you're valid point because I just think, mm. what would I? I would be at work for two weeks, and I mean, you know, it's not because I think because there's that element of, I think it's because it's not like, oh my god, you need it now. You've got to get rushed mm. in tomorrow. Which in that case, when yeah. you think about it, would you? You'd get rushed off. You've got to think it in because it's like I'd have to get sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> because the surgeons we are all very like, oh, it's your decision, yeah. Sorry, Roxy. I'm always bad at that. Come round every now and then. It's on a really nice camera. If we're going to sugar daddy, go the way, you know. There's always an option, isn't it? Put in the wanted efforts. Wanted sugar daddy. I've got some time off coming. I need some penny bills. I don't know what I'll do in return, though. I think about that. Yeah, you can't really do the usual, yeah. can you? No, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd tell them at the time, would I? You know what I mean? So you're going in for a bit of plastic surgery. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah. Tell them it's a boob job. <laughs> it's a boob job, yeah. You're paying for it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, no, you're right, though. There's the, the monetary sort of aspect. Just being poorly, though, as well. You taking days off mm. it's still the same implication still feel like yeah. not a job where you have to do that at some mm. point mm. yeah yeah it's yeah. a yeah. difficult one though it's a i'll be 37 in june so 36 and a half it's a difficult yeah. one though isn't it that yeah. sort of um decision to make isn't it it's yeah sort of a, even if you don't ever think you'll ever have children again it's a difficult yeah. thing to actually say yeah. oh yeah well, it's still a big deal yeah, yeah. Would anyone like another drink? Well, I'm going to have a cup of tea in my William Young cup. <laughs> I'd like another cup of tea, please, and I'll get yes, my easy your bathroom. You may. The door does shut properly, and it looks like it won't. It does. That's <laughs> Just to talk to us. Would you like another drink? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like another yes, please. Warm Vimto squash. Yes, please. You're quite lucky, because I only went shopping yesterday, and I did pick up some juice, otherwise I wouldn't have had any. <laughs> I meant my children drink water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> healthy, hey? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, but mum, I don't like it. Drink it. That's funny what you said before about finding people you can talk to about it. Yeah. Because I find an awful lot of people, even if they mean well, they end up kind of trying to play it down. And sometimes you just want yeah, to be honest yeah. about it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you say, do. I'm not catastrophising it, but I just want to say, yeah, you know, this is, really this is awful, bad. actually, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing you can do, but I just want to tell someone, yeah. you know, and people are like, oh, no, you know, there's always someone worse off than you, you know, like, really doesn't help no, me. No, it doesn't help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that's probably the worst thing that someone could say to you, actually. Because yeah. you're like, oh. If you take that to its logical conclusion, that means there's only one person in the world well, that feels sorry for themselves. That's right, yeah. When people say that to me, I kind of think, oh, I so wish we could body swap right now. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in and feel what this Jump is like. Jump in and feel, yeah. 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 It's so easy to be... Um, Magnanimous about it when it's no magazine that I've been listening to yes, right. articles, you know, as if it was like one of us and mm. like a double page spread and yeah. for someone who didn't know, quite a good article mm. to kind of explain it. They still look at um, they still look at those aspects that are a bit what's the most titillating. It has to be it's not just normal. The article that I read, it's not just a normal woman. It has to be a slant. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You've never had sex. Yeah. Or you, there has yeah, to be yeah. some slant to it to make it more interesting. Yeah. And that's the only sort of disappointing thing. I think does yeah. it have to be that? Yeah. I think going back to work, I've kind of people know I've got endometriosis, and mm. I think the more that you that that happens, the more people are gonna know. Mm. You know, it's not embarrassed. You know, mm. if you're embarrassed to talk about it, then they might think it's. But I mean, it's, I think you need to get used to talking about that mm. other work because it's yeah. not an easy thing, is it? No, it's not. I think it's easier post surgery than pre. Yeah, just it is. because. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know how long. You, I don't know. For some reason, it just feels a bit easier. Post Maybe people recognise it a bit more. Though. If you say, "Actually, I've had the surgery now," and you know, I've had this. Um, the amount of people who've compared it to a cesarean though and the amount of people who've compared going back to like 